Good morning everyone. Welcome back. How are you today? Can anyone tell me what lesson we were doing in math? What were we learning about? We were learning about coins. Very good. Now, let's go to the part 2 of the lesson and learn what we can do with coins. So let's go on page number 210, 210 in your pupil's book and start the lesson. Paying with coins. Let's recall. Look at 25 cent coin. What coins can you exchange it for? Remember that I told you that we can exchange coins. If the number of the cent coin is bigger, we can exchange that with 1 cent coin and 5 cent coin and 10 cent coin, right? All of you have your coins, right? Now, take a sheet of paper, draw a circle, and then write inside 25 cents, okay? Use your coins. You can use your 1 cent coins, 5 cent coins, and 10 cent coins. Try and make the different ways how you can exchange these coins with 25 cent. How can you make 25 cent? What are the different ways you can exchange the 25 cent coin with? Let's learn together. Question number one. This eraser costs 15 cents. So let's see how we can pay for it. We can pay for it with three five cents coin. We can make 15 with 5 and 5 that is 10 and we can add up another 5 which makes 15 so 15 cents coin can be paid by 5 5 and 5 3 5 cent coins next one let's stop think and go this is a tricky question you have to use your mind I'm not going to help you. Use two coins only to make 15 cents. In question number one, how many coins did we use? We use three five cents coin. Now it says use only two coins. Which two coins can you use to make 15 cents? What coins are they? Look at your coins and try to make 15 cents by using only two coins come on go ahead do it on your sheet of paper let's go to question number two this file costs 30 cents okay it says here count in tens so we're gonna count till 30 10 20 and 30 so we want to make 30 cents. We can pay for it with three 10 cents coins. 10, 10 and 10 make 30. That's how we can pay. It's easy, right? You can do it. Okay, KG2, can I request you to bring your pupil's book along so we can follow together I'm going to read and explain and then okay, you can solve the problems in your book. Page number 211, 211. Let's practice. Question number one. This hair band costs four cents. Here it shows that it costs four cents. So how can we pay the four cents? There are four one cent coins we can pay for it with how many one cent coins one two three and four so we're going to write here number four four one cent coins it's really easy isn't it kg2 let's go on to the next one 
this pencil costs 12 cents so what are the coins here for 12 what are the coins here which make 12 cents the first one is a 10 cents coin and then there are two one cent coins so 10 11 and 12 it makes 12 cents so we can pay for it with one 10 cent coin and two one cent coins it's really easy can you write for me in the blue box one 10 cent coin and two one cent coins well done let's go on to the next one now this bun costs 28 cents how can we pay for that we can pay for it with one 25 cent coin and how many one cent coins let's count after 25 to make it 28 26 27 and 28 so how many one cent coins do we need do you know can you tell me very good excellent we need three one cent coins to pay 28 cents very good kg2 on to question number four which is a challenging question let's solve it together let's figure it out there's a toy car which costs 70 cents so sam is going to buy this toy car and he has one 50 cent coin let's prepare 70 cents how can we make 70 cents let's see we have all the coins here keep all your coins together on your paper and we are going to make the 70 cents but the tricky part of the question is it says that he has another three coins there is one type of cent and there are two same type of cents which is going to pay for the toy car now we want to see how to make 70 let's count in tens after 50 because he already has the 50 cent then let's count after 50 60 and 70 which makes 20 so we want to make 20 cents how what are we going to use can we use 5 and 5 and 5 because the question says sam gave 3 coins so 5 and 5 and 5 makes 20 does it make 20 no it makes 15 so it means this is not the answer let's try let's put the five cents back and try 10 cents i'm gonna put here 10 10 and 10. so this is 50 and 60 70 and 80. does he have to pay 80 cents for the car no it is only 70 cents okay so i'm going to remove one 10 cent coin away and let's see does this make 70 50 60 and 70 yes it does make 70 but is that what the question says no the question says that he has one one type of cent and the other two are same so there are three cent coins he has so we just have to hear is there any other way we can make 20 let's find out let's put here one 10 cent coin and what about two five cent coins now is it okay 10 5 and 5 makes 20 and 20 and 50 cents all together make 70 
So Sam paid 50 cents and then he had three more coins. He needs another 10 cent coin and two five cent coins to pay for the toy car. I hope you understood the lesson. Well done and hope you enjoyed our math, math lesson today. Study well, stay safe and see you soon KG2.